Hi, I'm Merrick Tomato. Welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. The finals season. It's the past. I remember this scene. Lee! Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot. And to cut my hair, to be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was, uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. Yeah, I made it this far, didn't I? You sure did. When a lot of other people couldn't. Never give in, Clem. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. What is the deal Friends, with McCarroll Ranch? A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Out and safe. My friends are fighters. We can do this. <sighs> to think when I cut your hair, I was just following the advice of an old drunk we just met. It worked. But you, you have a knack for surviving. You've kept those kids alive. They look up to you. You're a leader, Clem. A natural. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. 
You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am. <laughs> I'm not crying, shut up. You've got people that need you. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. Glad we had that scene. We're really doing this. Yes. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Uh. Now we just need your walker friend He's to... here. Good lord. Uh. <laughs> Hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. <laughs> How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. <laughs> yeah, right. Sorry. Step back, Chronic Masturbation. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers, they'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. I already told them about you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. 
It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time, but it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh, cool. We joined the Whispers together. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whispers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore. But it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. Oh, Charlie was the one you had to kill? I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. And take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. Is there a reason the guy who knows bombs isn't dealing with the bomb? See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Lewis told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just... If you see her out there... Tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Might be a good play. Thanks. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us. 
depending on me. You're depending on me to... What if something happens to you, Clem? What if... What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Louis, I mean it. Just believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught, too? All it would take is one little screw up, and I'd screw up all the time. You won't. Uh, all right. Come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. <laughs> I, I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> what are you doing? You'll learn when you're older. Go look in another direction. <laughs> Uh. It's ready. Oh. oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. Ah, uh, shame about the cool coat. Uh, there. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. There. Shouldn't the blood not be red? You no, know, Walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Well, lots of them, too. Walkers, use them as shields. Yep. More gameplay. It's always bad. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Oh, that's not fair. This shouldn't be in the game. This isn't good. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields.
This isn't fun. I don't like this. Stay behind the walkers. Stay behind you, Anki. Give me him. I'm not allowed to move in a reasonable speed because this game, this section is is bullshit, and I hate it, and it shouldn't be in the game because it sucks. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. No offense, Clem, but your voice is starting to get on my nerves. No walkers left. This is impossible and it's stupid and it should fuck off. It should just fuck off forever. This is, it should just fuck off. It's not good. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. The sections like this are the worst parts of the game. Do this. I don't want to. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Is there a skip section button? Because th I, I want to skip this. Because this is bad. No one would enjoy this. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Stick to the left, I guess. We made it. Finally. Cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. You realize once you get out of the water, the walkers will know we're here, right? The guns are coming off! Yep. This 
way. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Thanks, Lois. You okay? Underwater walkers. I'm fine. <laughs> Stay close. Stay hidden. Yeah. Gotta stay out of the searchlight, I guess. But do we have to watch bits of cutscene again? I think that's badly designed if we have to watch any cutscene again. I'm fine. Stay close. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming. That's not good. Didn't have to use the stupid bow. Hmm. We're getting close. Boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? this out. I think it's the boiler. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here.
How much time do we have? Go, Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Probably knife the walk the raiders in the head to keep them from coming back as walkers. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Stone cold bitch. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. I got a plan. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. I knew that would work. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god. Are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Good. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Dorian? Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. No. Oh, fuck, Minnie. Clem, get in the cell. Are no. you fucking serious? Bitch. Don't have me. Minnie, you don't know. Fuck you, Minnie. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. Oh, fuck off. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again, or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Staying here that long. Violet, come on. Fuck off. Oh, fuck you too.
Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Good. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. How are you holding up? Wait, wait. She scares the shit out of me, Clem. Earlier she came down to talk? Fuck. I don't think I've ever been that afraid. She's not messing around. We'll be home soon. Just hang in there. Omar, are you hurt? Let's just get out of here, okay? We will. Oh, there's a look at latch. Okay, if we can dislodge the sheet metal, we can op unlatch the door. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Get out of here. Hey! <gasps> Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's the bitch. Good. Queen bitch. I'll take it from here. Shit. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. It's my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and killed two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. Hmm. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, 
He had all kinds of rules. Your father was an The asshole. thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Mm. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell it. One of them would. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Could Minnie, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, <sighs> which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. Kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No, don't. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy. Stay still. No, 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 please, come. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Ooh. to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? 
I know I can. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Merlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Back. No. I'll start up the board. Don't. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. Don't act like you don't understand you doing? what happened. You're gonna get us all you killed. You weren't there! I'm uh, here now, uh, aren't I? And this uh, Fuck you! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Don't pretend you care. Clem, behind you! You're the fucking problem here! I won't let you get them all killed! Oh, good shot. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Wait. That's not what I. Dorian! No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Getting out of here. We have to go. No! We planted a bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. Fine. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I, I can. Uh, I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. Why can't I move? You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share a room. Come on! Can't move. Trust me, AJ. You're gonna fit right in where I'm from. We respect the strong here, and I can tell by one look at you that you're strong. Both of you are. Hmm. Okay, gonna see if this is gonna work now. Uh, if it doesn't glitch up like last time. Shit, they started the 
boiler. We'll focus that head. There we go. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You'll you come can around even share too, a room once you see what we have to offer. Found one more. Plenty Sneaking of food, over the docks. comfortable beds for you and Clem. You can even share. Ten. Yeah. Fuck. Why did you do this? Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am, he wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. Oh, James. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. I don't... The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <laughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <coughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No! Oh, there we go. Stop. Oh. I guess we're dead. <laughs> Gun, AJ. 
He's broken. Okay. ending well that's broken toys Lewis was we left Lewis is missing in action Lewis was delighted when you decided to go on a date with him Lewis was touched that you wanted to hear what he why we sent to Erickson Lewis was calmed when you were sympathetic to his story about how he was sent to Erickson. And Lewis was thankful when you let AJ stop Dorian from cutting off his finger. Ten, ten, MIA. Ten was grateful when you stood up for him against Willie. Ten was grateful when you promised to tell Minerva you forgave her. Lily, MIA. Lily was unfazed by your threat to kill her after she tried to threaten you into cooperation. Lily was smug when you stopped AJ from shooting her. Minerva, MIA. Minerva was stunned when you told her Marlin killed Brody. Minerva was dejected when you said Ten would be ashamed to call her sister. Minerva was heartsick after learning Ten forgave her. Abel, dead. Abel felt assured when you promised him mercy. AJ, missing in action. AJ felt conflicted after you killed Abel, sparing him from turning. AJ felt defeated when you said there was no way to prove you could be together as walkers. AJ felt helpless when you spared Lily only to have her kill James. Understandable. Minerva, uh, Violet, MIA, when you refused to say why you let the Raiders take her, Violet laughed in derision. Violet despises you after her capture. Oh, I don't like her that much either. James is dead. James was thankful that you respect his belief and spared the walkers. James felt elated when you said there might be more to walkers. State of the school. Rosie is worried about everyone. Willie was excited that you wanted to name his bomb. Ruby was proud you did not... Uh, that you did not... Uh, Regog as uh, her official Eric's evaluation. Uh, Omar is MIA. Asim is MIA. We found one of these. And next time, we'll do the last episode. Take us back. Until then, guys. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!